to conditions at the Baltimore Key Bridge collapse site. And yesterday, the weather forced crews to halt operations on the water. Today, the sun was back out until some showers moved in and then work ramping up again until just a few moments ago. We'll get an update on the forecast in just a moment from VJ. But first, Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell was on a boat with the Army Corps of Engineer, getting a much closer look at the damage. Brad, first, a storm is arriving right now. So tell us what you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, look, a little taste of the weather forecast right now. It has been fairly placid, calm all day long with some passing showers, but we've just had a squall line move through. The temperature has dropped at least 15 degrees out here and the wind has picked up. We're now seeing white caps on the water. That is what these guys are dealing with out there. They're dealing with very heavy equipment, heavy debris, and there's also divers in the water. It's brutal, but it was, as we said, right. calm enough for us to get a little bit closer look today out on the water. Our Army Corps of Engineers work boat approaches the scene slowly. We're told there are divers in the water. But even from a distance of several hundred yards, this view of the Key Bridge disaster tells more of the story of what happened here and the impact it continues to have. Now, I've been covering this story since just two hours after the bridge fell, but this is the first time that I'm personally out here on the water to see it. And one of the first things that strikes me is not just how big the pieces are, but just how wide the gap is, how much bridge is missing from there all the way over to beyond the ship. It's sobering. The magnitude is enormous. Colonel Esty Pinchason is one of the leaders of the Unified Command running the Key Bridge response, inviting us along today on the water in part to make a point. You can't fathom it until you're right up against it and you see the destruction. Our captain now maneuvering our boat to where we can get a look at the bow of the container ship Dolly, the Key Bridge down on top of it and underneath all of that steel shipping containers, huge metal boxes crushed like they were paper. Soon, we're told, the salvage crews at work here will begin to offload some containers from the ship. And we see the full steam ahead work to clear the channel up close. Sparks flying as cuts are made in the massive steel trusses of the fallen bridge. They're making another cut on this truss in order to remove about a 350 ton portion of the wreckage. And we see a piece here on the barge that's been removed. Already. That's been removed and that was about 250 tons. We also see the impact of the alternate channels opened by the Coast Guard. This tub pushing a barge, one of several able to get back to work. Piece by piece, the Colonel says they'll get the job done. She wants people to know that even though it's hard to see, progress is happening. And she says the contractors doing the work are the best available. This is what they do. This is what they're designed to do. They've been here from day one. Yeah, but even those crews have to slow down when the weather gets like this. The wind picking up 25, 30 knots, it feels like right now. They're not going to be able to lift anything with those cranes. So they're really looking hard at the weather forecast. And, and we want to hear what the weather forecast is as well. I'm going to send it over to Veronica Johnson, 